Welcome, welcome to episode 33 of Chesswiz TV. Today is July 1st, the second half of 2014. We have now entered the second half. Were you ready for that? Well, it's too bad. Here we are. Today we're playing chess, if you can believe that. It's going to be all chess all the time today. The title of the episode, USA versus Belgium, but the only reason for that is because I love the World Cup. Adjusting microphone, one, two, testing, one, two. Actually, I don't love the World Cup, but I did watch the USA lose to Germany, and that was interesting because I thought, oh, we must be eliminated because I didn't know what was going on. Turns out we won by losing because we only lost by one point, and by we, I mean United States because that's where I'm from, and so we made it into the round of 16. So now we're going to lose to Belgium today, and that's five hours from the time of this recording or live broadcast. So in five hours, I get to watch my na nation lose at soccer. It's going to be a lot of fun. But in the meantime, let's play some chess. There we go. Here we are on lightchess.org. And the window is not the proper width. And now the window is the proper width. Wow, was that easy or what? Let's go play some chess. Now, unfortunately, these pools are empty, usually empty. This is like the peak time of the lightchess.org website. There's 1,400 players online right now, which is a relatively high. I know that if you're watching this from the future, it's going to seem like not very many, but, but that's a pretty good number for right now. So we've got to pick the five-minute pool or the one-minute pool. I'm not ready for the one-minute pool because... Um, just got out of bed, maybe. Maybe I just got out of bed. Or maybe uh, it's because I want to play slower chess first. One of those two reasons is the reason. So there's a new feature here in the pool which puts a number behind my chess pieces. Let's see if I can do something about that. There we go. So I have to wait this much time. Interesting stats. The pools are improving. Don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but it actually says how many people are waiting, and I'm one of them, and it says how many people are playing. So this is a nice indicator to tell me why I'm really bored. It used to be I was bored and I didn't know why. Now I'm bored because this number hasn't reached zero yet. There we go, and we're in a game of chess. Now we can add the chess pieces back. Fighting against... Chul. Um, perhaps he's never heard of vowels, but I recommend vowels. In your name, it makes it so much more pronounceable. So maybe this could be Tashal, if there were any vowels, um, but there aren't. Interesting move C3, blocking the bishop B4 that I love so much. So this is kind of a kind of an unusual position for me. I'm used to White playing C4, so we'll see what happens. White cannot play E4 because I'm covering it with two minor pieces. So the center, White center, is not as big as normally occurs in a position like this. So maybe I get to attack that. Here we go. Argentina, Switzerland is up first, according to Lie Chess Er. Um, but of course, I don't care about Argentina versus Switzerland. Probably Argentina is going to win the World Cup. Why? Because I say so. Actually, if they do, all the viewers should should um, go back and watch this video and say, "Wow, Chess Whiz is is what's the word that means knows the future? Prophetic, I guess." But that's not what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. Um, it's not schizophrenic. That would be not what I want to be. It's something more like psychopathic. Nope, don't want to be that either. Okay, we're not going to try for any more words because they're not coming out right. Um, so interesting chess position. Let's adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. Now we can see my shirt better. Um, but it's time to strike out on that center. I can either play e5 or c5 to hit the center. And i got to decide which one that's going to be. Maybe I should prepare my rooks first. This knight e3 is so, so strange, guys. This is a very strange setup for white, and to have pawn on c3 and knight on e3. So it's a little unusual. I have to have to kind of get my wits together here. I guess I'll prepare my rooks to attack. Let's see. I don't want to give up my nice bishop, so I guess I'll pull it back in. I maybe be my other rook to c8 and then c5. C5 is my my favorite way to strike the center here. I prefer c5 over e5 in most most of these lines, uh, but sometimes I go the other way just for fun. I uh, will do that right now. He's going to move his rook to d1, and then that's going to be right across from my queen. Pretty scary, but I'm not too scared. I'll just I'll just decide later what happens. Hi to all the people of my friends in the chat. Hi to my friends and hi to the strangers. So hello Olith123, hello Lai Chesser, hello Son Goku. You guys have probably heard those names because they've chatted with me in the past. And hello Rocks and Woods. Now that's a weird move. Queen C1 followed by Queen D1. It seems a little aimless if you ask me, as in no aim, no purpose at all. It basically White says, well how about if I just pass for two turns? And that's what White did. So I don't mind. I'll, I'll just keep bringing my pieces out. But that was a waste of moves for, for White. 
Rocks and Woods I'm says I'm Shaq. That's awesome. Last episode, which was the June Monthly Bullet, we got to beat Shaq several times. I love that name because there's a bunch of H's in it. It allows you to go Shaq instead of the Shaq, which is um, the name of a book that I don't recommend. Uh, the Shaq, so don't read that one. I think Night Here. But Rocks and Woods is a nice name because it sounds a little bit like beatboxing. It's like Rocks and Woods. And never mind, that's not beatboxing. It's more like Rocks and Woods. That was a failure of an attempt at Rocks and Woods. Hello to Ornicar 2. I did have to ask Ornicar 2, why Ornicar 2 are you Ornicar 2 and not Ornicar? What do you think the reason that was? It's because Ornicar was taken. Now, who do you think took it? Probably Ornicar took it. Well, that's obvious, but he probably forgot it was him. Uh, this happens to me all the time. I create an account, and then I'm like, what did I use to create this account? I guess I'll be number two. It's annoying when you take your own account and then can't remember it. Should I trade pawns here? I should be able to get an advantage here, because white's moves have been really weird. Queen c1, queen d1, waste of time. The knight actually jumped all over the place out here, and then you know, g4 and traded. So white spent a lot of moves doing nothing. And you can see my development is better. I've got both my rooks ready to go in the center. Both white's rooks here have not even moved besides castling. So I'm ahead in, in the race to develop and the race to bring the pieces out. So I should take advantage of that. So I need to make fast moves, moves that really open up the position and allow for tactics where I'll do better because my development is better. Uh, so I'm thinking that if I just close it up with c4 or play d5, it might not be fast enough to get an advantage. So I think capturing might make this sharpest. We'll see what happens. Ornicar says in chat, that's precisely what happened. I wonder, though, if it was actually him taking his own account and then forgetting that he took it. I'll trade bishops. And then having to make Ornicar 2 because he forgot Ornicar. That doesn't happen to me too much because I just use one email for a lot of accounts. So I just say, I forgot my password. And then I can get in again. Okay, so queen. Uh, boy, that's not so good. I I don't want to lose my a7 pawn, but if knight b5 hitting my a7 pawn could hit my queen c7 also, and I'd lose that pawn. Don't like that too much, but I do have this diagonal where I could check him, so I'm going to play that anyway. It's because queen b7 check or queen c6 check are possibilities. So now, how do I take advantage of my better development? The position's still kind of closed. D5, D4 doesn't really get anything done. E5, E4 just messes up my pawns because this is a backwards pawn. So those pawns kind of have to stay where they are. And that means not much can happen here. I'm running low on time as well. Forgot my password at the first account. A lot of people are agreeing in chat that that happens. I actually have this amazing password um, technique. By the way, guys, speaking of passwords, don't use the same password for every account. I know that it's obvious, but don't do it. Here's why. You're like, please sign up. You get this, you get this notification. Sign up for such and such a blah, blah, scammy thing. And it's no problem. All I just, I'm going to win a free Xbox or a free iPad or free whatever. Don't do it. It's worse than you think. You might think, oh, it's harmless. But what happens is they say, create a password for your new account at scammyscamscam.com. So you think, well, that seems safe to me. You put in the same password that you use everywhere. All of a sudden, they can access everything. So you do not use the same password on two different accounts because the admins at the one website can now log in as you on the other website. That's not always a good thing unless you like to be impersonated. Most people don't. So scammyscamscam.com now has the password you use at your Gmail, for example, or your Yahoo mail, which is um, no longer popular. Pretty soon, they've logged in there, and now, once they're in your email, off they go, because any account you have, they can click, I forgot my password, which really means I'm attacking this guy, and I don't know his password. So then they send a password reset email to the email that they control, and it goes downhill from there, resetting all your passwords, getting into all your accounts, and they're in your base. It's bad. So use a different password at every website. Now, how do you manage that? Well, how are you supposed to remember different password everywhere? It's not easy, so let me tell you the secret don't remember them. Seems reasonable. What am I supposed to do? I guess this. 27 seconds. 27 seconds. I need to speed it up. So the key to remembering all those passwords is to just not remember them. That seems there must be some trick. A lot of people use a cool program like LastPass or KeyPass um, that, that remembers all their passwords for them. I actually don't do that because I don't trust those programs. Now, I think that's irrational of me. I'm being paranoid. paranoid. 
I'm being paranoid by not trusting those websites. But I don't want to trust them and I'm running out of time. Ah! Uh, B4 is going to look good here. Ooh, Drunk Chess gave me a horrible suggestion. I'm going to take that if, if it's possible. I have to finish this game in 20 seconds, so it's going to be very tough. Drunk Chess says, if you've, what about, I know what you do. Okay, I'm going to take that if it's possible. Okay, now I'm going to take that. Whoa, no, I'm not. Whoa, change my mind. I'm going to, I'm going to go here, no matter what. See, I got to pre-move everything, so I have to decide beforehand, no matter what he does, this is my move, and it's going to be Queen C7. Oh, you know what? There were better moves. I didn't expect. That. Oh, thank you. Now I have 17 seconds and an extra rook. Whew. How are we going to do this? Trades, and then rook here. And then pre-moves every time. Whoops, I didn't pre-move. That was a mistake. I think queen here, but that's a little dangerous. You're watching that pre-move meister row. Maestro. I'm not just a meister. I'm like a cross between a maestro and a bistro. It's like a coffee place that can also play the violin. And 12 seconds now. Oh, this is fine. I can finish a chess game in 12 seconds. No problem. Let me just throw away my rook and then go win the game of chess. Hmm, it's going to be tough, isn't it? 10 seconds now. It's going to be tough. Doing great, doing great. Yeah, nice try. I saw that coming. That's why I canceled my pre-move. I had game B3 pre-moved. And then I unpremoved it. Okay, looking good. 8.7 seconds. Good thing I'm chess whiz. The whiz part means I move really fast. 8.6 seconds. Wow, three moves in a tenth of a second. Fortunately, this guy's really slow. A strong player would be running me out of time here. Um, but he's not a strong player. So that's fortunate for me. 8.6. You see how I'm using no time? That's because I make my move on his turn every turn I make my move on his turn it's called pre-moving and thanks to that technique I'm actually using no time at all so I still have 8.6 it basically uses no time which I'm happy to see now I didn't pre-move because I wanted to be watching which way his king went so now four more pre-moves and I'm done three more and I'm done two more okay I'll move here just to make myself correct one more and checkmate weak opponent is right I'm so glad I had a weak opponent because I would have lost on time so now that that's out of the way, I have to wait 70 seconds to pair, leaving this pool, man. Let's go find a pool where I don't have to wait that long. Uh, the one-minute pool. Here we go. Uh, 25 seconds. So this will be a one-minute chess game. That's like a lot faster, but at least I don't have to wait 60 seconds. So I don't trust those programs, those key pass, those last pass, all that stuff. Here's what I do. I make sure that my hair looks good because I'm on camera, and this recording will never, ever be erased. It's going to be on the internet until the end of time. So how's that looking? Oh, it's good. At least I have hair. The future me is going to come back and be like, wow, I used to have hair. Which, and then I'm going to be jealous of myself. Too bad I don't really realize the depth of my jealousy of myself. So this being a one minute chess game is much more difficult. Much, much more difficult. I have to pre-move every move right at the start. As you can see, Oh, 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 chess whiz made an error. Apparently moving during the opponent's turn is not always the key to success. Let's return to pool. So what do I do instead? I have this amazing password management technique, and you should use this. It consists of, first of all, you browse to strongpasswordgenerator.com. Let me show you how to do that, strong password generator. And then you're like, I'm going to strongpasswordgenerator.com, right? So then you click generate strong password. Look at that password right there, ampersand percent side, right curly bracket, plus TFC cap capital V, capital N, left curly bracket, capital B plus, right angle bracket, nine, small g is my password. Then I memorize that, just kidding, then I put that in as my password. Okay, then what do I do with that? Do I take a photo of it and put that on my phone? No, you guys might want to do that, but I sure don't. So what do you do? Do you... Actually, that's all you can do. No, there's one more thing you can do, and that is just forget it. You actually just forget your password. 
and then the next time you click I forgot my password it doesn't say I accidentally forgot my password it just says I forgot my password which I sure did who wouldn't forget that password and then I just get a new password every time if it sounds tedious it's secure no attacker is gonna bother to click forgot my password when he can't see the, the reset email Oh, I lost my bishop I forgot my bishop I need a button for that no ban please is his name, but I think I'm going to ban him for taking my bishop. Where is my ban hammer? Hmm. This is sad. This is sad. Hey, says one person in chat. That's the same technique I use. Awesome. <laughs> so... I love broadcasting Chesswiz TV, by the way, guys. If you're wondering why does he get up and do this, nobody even pays him. It's because it's so much fun. And the people in chat are so witty. And I'm losing my bishop and I'll resign. No ban, please beat me. Okay, return to pool. I'm going to play, oh, only five seconds. Excellent. I'm going to play someone I can beat. I'm changing my style up. Now I'm playing someone I can beat. I'm playing Carlos Maximus. That's my opponent. So I'm laughing because the person in chat is laughing about what showed up in autocomplete when I typed strong password generator. Isn't Google helpful? It's like, oh, let me just provide this offensive phrase in front of your eyes instead of what you're actually trying to search for. So in this case, I typed strong and pressed space. And is it going to say, did you mean strong password generator? No, it recommended strong acids. And if you didn't know what you were talking about, you might think I recently searched for strong acids on Google. But I swear I didn't. I seriously didn't, uh, I think. Um, are you trying to checkmate me? I noticed you. Look at that move. Oh, skewered and forked and attacked and double pin attack. Oh, now I'm pinned. Oh, I'm scared. There goes your rook. I can't take that pawn with my pawn or I'll lose my queen. But I have another plan. Take it now or forever rest in pieces. Bishop h4 looks pretty good. Um, let's trade queens. Oh, you're pinned. Okay. Oh, no. Not, not going to happen. Something's going to happen here. Stop attacking my queen, man. That's rude. Now that pawn is pinned. Hey, there's a free rook. Check. Glad I noticed that. Okay, 22 seconds. This just got real good. I'll just trade my rook for a knight and pawn, which is usually a bad trade, but when you're ahead this much, you don't need good trades to win. You just need trades. Oh, you're pinned now. There have been a lot of tactics in this game. Fortunately, they've been on my side. In my own favor, these tactics have been. That is fortunate. Okay, I take this and then make a, make a new queen for myself. Hmm. I'll position my queen so that he cannot block... Oh, what?! What stally mate? What does that mean? Stally, stally mate? <sighs> Weird. This chess site has a bug in it. My idea was put my queen right here so that he could never stop my pawn, but there was a stally mate. Wow. Chess wizard needs to go back to chess school because that was a very beginner sort of error. Very beginnery. Hey, look at that. Blitzstream Twitch in the, in the, in the. Guys, did you see what that said? It said Blitzstream Twitch. Do you know what that means? It used to say Blitzstream YouTube. No, it didn't. It always said Blitzstream Twitch. That's boring. My brain's not working today. That says Blitzstream Twitch. It means you don't have to watch me. You could watch Blitzstream. Maybe I should go do that. Everyone's laughing in chat. They're like, ha, 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 you stalemated him. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So this is Battle of the Streams. Blitzstream Twitch is streaming at the same time I am, I think. I'm going to go check that after this game. And if that's true, then I'm going to have to go beat him on his own stream, on my own stream, at the same time. Now, Blitzstream's a very strong player. So strong, in fact, that he gets a lot of viewers even though he pronounces it viewers. Viewers. Like, with a whole lot of R sound. It sounds pretty cool. But I just say viewers, so I should have more viewers, but no, he's so good at chess, he can say viewers and still get more viewers. I think that I'm going to win right now. Check, oh, checkmate. How do I checkmate him? This way. This will be checkmate. Oh, well, this will be pretty painful, if not checkmate. Look at that. Check. Oh, painful. Oh, painful. Painful. Pain fuel. Question in chat. What 
program do you use to stream? I actually, checkmate, I actually, and let me just do this for you guys, tell you what I use. I use a program called OBS. It's short for Open Broadcasting Software, I think. And if you just search for OBS, you'll find it. OBS also means to observe, which is what I would do if I'm going to go OBS Blitzstream right now. Live, Chess with TV, episode 33, USA versus Belgium. Everyone's going to click here thinking, oh, they're going to see some football, but you're not. You're seeing chess. Enter pool, which rhymes with bull. I use open broadcasting software, and it works really well. For a long time, which would be about 10 episodes, or maybe 15, I used the Ustream producer software, which was worse, way worse. For example, I couldn't have this cool overlay down here. See me right here? Instead, it was more like this. See nobody? Yeah, that's what it was like with Ustream producer. And actually, they had overlay modes, but there were two problems. First of all, you had to pay money, and I don't have money to pay for that. And secondly, the overlay modes were actually really bad. They let you preview them to see how bad they were so that you would know not to pay money. Because, um, let me tell you how bad they were. You could not do any custom overlay like this, where you just resize yourself. Here, let me show you. I can just resize myself at any time, uh, at, at some comedic moment when that's important. But with this system, it would actually say, you're going to be half the screen and you're right here. And then here's your content over here next to it. And you couldn't customize that at all. Pretty bad. Oh, look at that. A discovered attack on your queen and a pinned knight at the same time. Your only choice is to get your knight pinned. With knight b4. Oh, you could lose your knight instead. Good choice, because you were going to lose it anyway. Okay, hmm. I'm ahead a whole piece now. By that, I mean a bishop. Okay, bishop for pawn, good enough. You are doing this for free? Why? Well, actually, there's no way for you to donate to Chess with TV, and maybe it's suddenly going to go away. Actually, I'll warn you. I'll say three episodes left, and then I'll say two episodes left, and then I'll say, I'm out of here. I just skipped the last episode. Something like that, if, if Chess with TV is going away. You'll get some advance notice. Um, but the reason I do this for free is because I love it. Um, and also, I hope to make gobs of money someday. But that's not very likely. It's possible. I'm probably going to have to improve my chest because I don't think stalemate is what everyone wants to log on and see like they did a couple minutes ago. So I'm going to have to like crank that up a notch in terms of quality and then maybe I'll make gobs of money. I don't know. It could happen. It could happen. Check. Oh, this extra bishop sure is coming in handy. I tell ya. Everyone should get an extra bishop. Hmm. I'll go there so I don't lose my rook. Oh, eight seconds left. Eight seconds. Um, I'll just pre-move everything. Oh, I'm in check. Oh, this is dangerous. There and there. I'm moving into check because I know he's going to check me. And then I'm checking him, and I'm checking him again, and I'm checking him. Check! Did you see that move? Oh, out of time! Rook takes f6 is something you only see in epic games of chess like this. Now, you might say, why did you trade your rook for a pawn? Really, just why did you throw your rook away? Why did you defenestrate your rook? Well, the answer is he's out of time now, and it was a great strategic decision to do that. Return to pool. So what does defenestrate even mean? This is word of the day, guys. Defenestrate means to throw out a window. And if you don't know it, you do now. It's an important word, because sometimes you're so frustrated. Instead of punching your monitor, which would cause certain monetary loss, you you could simply defenestrate your whole computer, which caused even more monetary loss, and that would be bad. So don't defenestrate your computer or your spouse. Actually, defenestration of people is against the law. However, there have been certain cases of auto-defenestration, which is a word I learned more recently. To auto-defenestrate means to throw oneself out the window, kind of like an autobiography, except in this case it involves a window. Yes, and you know who auto-defenestrated? It was... Um, there, there have been several cases, actually, and if you go to Wikipedia and search for auto-defenestration, you will find the few historic cases of such behavior. I don't think Jezebel from the Bible did auto-defenestrate. I think she was actually defenestrated by other people. Um, but there was someone who auto-defenestrated. I think he was falling asleep when Paul was preaching and he fell out a window? I think there's several cases of defenestration in the Bible. Great book, by the way. So much defenestration, so much action. Action-packed, seriously. Except for the book of Numbers, it's like full of numbers and not action-packed. So, if you're looking for action, maybe you should check for Queen Takes H7, Checkmate, and not the book of Numbers. Ouch! 
Ouch! Okay, let's take a quick look at that position. Replay and analyze. Open up for me. Open new tab. Okay, so we're looking at we're looking at um, knight e g5. What a brilliant move for white. He's threatening my queen with his rook. He's threatening its secret and a amazing checkmate. This is pretty much 100% checkmate. And there's nothing I can do to prevent it. If I stop the checkmate, I lose the queen. If I save the queen, God save the queen, I lose the checkmate. So what about, let's rewind a little bit. So in this position, he's threatening knight here followed by knight here followed by checkmate, okay? So then, so then he goes knight here. Queen e7 is a horrible blunder. Maybe there's a better move. Queen g6. What do you know? Queen g6. That's a move I should have made. Back to pool. Join pool. Question in chat. Why is this episode titled USA vs. Belgium? Because you got here too late. If you had watched from the beginning, or you're watching the recording on YouTube, or you are me, then you would already know why. So I have 26 seconds. See that number behind the chess pieces? Yes, it matches this chess pieces. Here's why it's called USA vs. Belgium. Because the United States is playing against Belgium in the World Cup today, and they're going to get second place in that game of soccer, which is not as good as second place in the World Cup. Um, you actually don't want second place in soccer. It's pretty bad. But it's, I guess, the worst you can do. Stupid telephone. Stop it. My telephone is telling me who's playing soccer. Stop it. So it's always listening, and that's the most annoying feature ever, 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 ever. And I've got a coworker, I think, watching the stream right now, and he's probably laughing because this always happens at work. You know, we're having this serious meeting, and then my phone goes, the time is 2.52 p.m. Nothing much is going on right now. Seriously annoying. It's this Moto, Moto, um, Moto X is the name of the phone, and it's, it's really annoying. They should remove that feature. Actually, you can turn off the feature, but I didn't do it because I think it's so fun to be annoyed. I love being annoyed. That's why I leave it on. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting position, isn't it? I'll take that and lose this. Oh, well, then I'll castle. And then I'll just keep developing my pieces. So now there's talk of the World Cup in chat. That's good. You guys should talk about that because I don't know what I would be talking about if I talked about it. But speaking of second place, I went to um, a table tennis club last night, uh, also known as ping pong. It's like tennis except for kids, basically, because the whole court is like that big. And so you just stand in front of it and hit the ball with this tiny little paddle. It's seriously a child's game. I don't know how grown men actually are able to play that game and still feel okay about themselves because it's really... Um, an embarrassingly small and easy game. You just stand there and hit the paddle. Needless to say, I lost over and over, but what I should say is I got second place over and over in my matches yesterday, except one time I played doubles. Now, doubles, as you know, is two against two. So I was telling this strong player, I got second place every match except for the doubles game when I also lost. And he said, didn't... I said, I got second place in that match too because the other team won. And he said, doesn't that mean you got third place? And I'm like, oh, oh, come on, I lose all these games, and then you're like rubbing it in, telling me I got third place in the doubles match. Uh, nine seconds, okay, you're going to lose on time, that's too bad. Too bad you're losing on time, opponent. Oh, oh, too bad. I need my bishop, let's see what I can do with it. That. Take that. Oh. Oops. Oh, now I'm going to lose. Or maybe it'll be a draw. Someone's out of time and it's me. I was just out chess whiz. That was horrible. Horrible. Did you see how I tried to escape with my pawn by moving it one square? And then he pre-moved to where my pawn used to be. It's like trying to take that last piece of chocolate and then someone just slips in and they're like, whoosh. I got that chocolate from you. That's what that pawn was like. Unfortunately, I didn't just take that rook for free with my bishop. That would have been a better strategy than stealing that chocolate. But hey, I got second place. It's worth something. What a beautiful game of chess. That would make stockfish cry, according to chat. Yeah, it's probably true. I'm glad I'm not clicking analyze on that game, because probably what would happen is it would just run forever as it continually analyzed all the blunders. It would never end. It's like a halting problem, and stockfish analysis will never halt. 
Uh, the USA got through to the round of 16 for the first time in football history. It's not true. Not true. Secret Oz says he was hungry and wanted some Belgium waffles is why the na it's named that. No, that's not true. Not true. I'm not hungry right now because I got up extra early so I could actually eat something before the cast, which is why I'm playing so well. Did you see that amazing Rook move? Rook D6 check or whatever it was two games ago? That was because I'm not hungry. Oh, man, this is bad. Okay, take a close look at the position because uh, you don't want to look at me. I'm dying over here um, because... Something about my queen being trapped. You know how I noticed that so quick? I was like, immediately I knew my queen was trapped? Because this has happened to me before. Like six times I've gotten my queen trapped in the same way with the bishop d3 and the bishop g5 slicing down like this. This bishop going, ah, and this bishop going, like that. That's the noise a bishop makes. Just slicing through the position and trapped my queen. It'd be okay if it happened one time, but it happens over and over and over and over and over. Even in a tournament, this happened to me. Actually, I did it to my opponent in a tournament, so that, that felt pretty good. Uh, but it's a common trap, and apparently it happens to the best of us. Or in this case, the worst of us. Return to pool. I get to wait 23 seconds before I lose again. That was pathetic. Pathetic. Well, do I still have a rating? Let's see. 1814. That's actually pretty good for the one minute pool. I don't know why it's not lower because I am losing, losing, losing a serious lot of rating points. Um, and if you're tuned in to watch me, it's basically watchchesswithlosetv.com. I should probably register that domain name before someone else does. Watch chess with TV lose .com. It's a little long, but you could set it to a macro. Because um, when you've got an appropriate keyboard, you can say this key over here, when I press Control Shift Alt, this key, it's just going to automatically type out watch chess with TV lose .com for me. Uh, so I don't have to type it all the time. That's what a macro is for. And when you've got a keyboard like mine, you know it. You can do that anytime. I think it's considered cheating in certain computer games to have a nice macro going. I know it was true in StarCraft 1, which is the better StarCraft. Um, but the new StarCraft, maybe they allow any kind of cheating they want, because you can select two buildings at once, which is seriously cheating. They called it MBS, so short for Multiple Building Select, also short for cheating, because you could like you could like select multiple buildings at once, if you know what I mean. Totally cheating. There was such an outrage. There was this one guy who was like, um, he goes by Tasteless. Maybe you've heard of him, Nick. Nick Plot, I believe is his name. He's the brother of Day9, Sean Plot. Maybe nobody's heard of him. Maybe someone's heard of him. Anyway, he said the way StarCraft 2 needs to be, this before it came out, probably 2008, he said the way this game needs to be is it needs to be like playing the piano. I'm talking about a computer game, real-time strategy computer game here. We're like moving your units around. I mean, you know what StarCraft is, right? So he says the new StarCraft needs to be more difficult to play. It needs to be like, you know how when you're playing the piano and this really difficult part comes up where you have to play these really fast scales and arpeggios. That's like the best part of the music. So what we need... Oh, I'm running out of time again. I need to play chess. Hold on, guys. Gotta play a little chess and then I'll tell you what Tasteless thinks about the new StarCraft 2, which is now old. He thinks I got a queen. Okay. Oh, he got my queen. Nice. How's this going to work? Hmm. He has 20 seconds. It's going to be tough. This is a really weird cast today, guys. It's like Brian talks. I mean, oops, oops. I mean, chess was talks a mile a minute. And then he just suddenly becomes silent until he finishes chess, losing, I should say. And then he talks a mile a minute again. Ooh, apparently he didn't move his rook there. I tried to take that rook. Wow, he's really letting that rook live a long time. Point 0.8. Point 0.8. That's, that's a lot of time. Yes, it's a draw, because I got his last pawn. What? <laughs> no! On my screen, it says that I took his pawn. Do you see any pawn here? Let me get this thing a little bigger. Do you see any pawn over there? where that king is right now? No. On my screen and there is no pawn. However, on the screen of the computer that is running this chess game, there's still a pawn. How can I tell? It says, timeout, black is victorious. That would only happen if black still has his pawn, because you can't checkmate with a bishop. It would say, draw, if, if there was only a bishop on the board. So it actually said, well, you made that move, but you didn't send it to me fast enough. The internet was too slow for you. You lose. That's basically what happens. So I need to pay, just like Netflix, I need to pay internet providers for faster internet. There's actually a big debate, <clears throat> the SOPA and the HIPAA and the open 
net, all that stuff. Wow, those are bad. Those are bad, um, <clears throat> bad acronyms. SOPA? I'd be embarrassed to be campaigning for SOPA. Anyway, what did Tesla say? He said, piano is like StarCraft 2, and what we need to do is make the game really hard. So let's say you want to build a mothership. You need to type mothership on the board with one hand in order to create it, or they should just make a random sequence of letters and numbers, because then when a mothership comes out on the screen, the whole audience is going to go wild. They're going to be like, wow, how did, he, how did he create that unit? He's so fast with his keyboard. And needless to say, Blizzard Entertainment did not aka Activision, did not agree with him. They actually made the game dumber, aka easier. So they made it so that you could build a mothership simply by clicking on the little mothership icon. Can you imagine? Talk about an easy game. I'm not even playing StarCraft 2 because it's so easy. I'm playing chess, uh, which is way harder. Um, but that was a pretty good idea, I think. If we made playing StarCraft more like playing the piano, where if you want something really neat to happen, you have to punch in the secret unlock code to do it. And you have to do it with one hand behind your back and your eyes closed. You get bonus points for that. And I just got a text message. That's not appropriate during a stream. I'm not going to answer that message. I actually got a comment that says there was a game for like that like that uh, for the Dreamcast and PC. Well, that's a good thing because if it's just on the Dreamcast, I think you'd have to use a Dreamcast controller, which would I better get my king off that diagonal, which would really defeat the purpose because keyboards are where the awesome stuff happens. Check, double check, check. Oh, look at that check. Goodbye, queen. Ooh, ouch. That's called the discovered attack, and for once, discovered check anyway. For once, Chess has got his own tactic going. Resigns, nizzle, fo shizzle. Just resigned against the chess whiz. Return to pool. Uh, leave pool. We're going to go back to the five minute because I keep losing on time. So we're going to uh, enter this pool. Look, only 18 seconds. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. Oh, sorry. There, 15 seconds now. Much better. Uh, we're going to play a little slower. Then I can talk to you about what I'm not thinking about. I can say, oh, you know what? I'm going to move here because I didn't think about the move, and that's my style. That way, you know, we've got a little more time before Chesswitz goes crazy on the clock. So he says, the game Typing of the Dead was like that. I know that, but the point was typing. I have never seen Typing of the Dead on Korean TV, but there's a lot of StarCraft on there. In fact, you could just turn on the TV, if you live in South Korea, you could just turn on the TV, and there's StarCraft. You'd be like, okay, I'm going to watch some Jadong here. But there's no typing of the dead. It's not really a spectator sport. Hmm, that's my move. Um, this is the exception to don't move piece twice in the opening, because the experts say it's a good idea. Check. The opening goes like this. Then I take the pawn, and then bishop e2. Uh, this is all part of the opening. Now h6, and then knight f3, and then e4. Come on, play e4. It's the, and then knight d5, and now queen. Oh, no, bishop d6 is next. He might move his queen to one of these squares. I think it's bishop d6. <coughs> Is it amazing that I know this many moves? Whoa, that's not what I know. There must be some reason this is horrible. My knight's under attack. It can't go here, here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. That's weird. My knight is trapped. Oh, it can go to g4. Good. Good. Because this isn't normal. This is weird. Uh, is there any other cool move? C3, lose my knight. D3, lose my knight. Uh, move my bishop, lose my knight. Castle, lose my knight. Looks like my options are pretty limited, so considering I don't want to lose my knight, I'll try that move, and we'll see how it goes. It seems like Chesswiz is opening his own opening lesson. Laughing face. A laughing face to you. Knight f3, knight g5 is the three knights attack, and you have to play that way. Actually, you don't, but this is the way to get the advantage. So it's the one, the one, guys, it's the one exception to the rule I said on episode 30, Lessons on the Opening. If you're wondering what to do in the opening, go to the YouTube channel, search for Chess Wiz. It's hard to spell. you got to spell it like this up here. Um, and then you can watch that episode, and then you can know not to do what I'm doing. That's the only exception to moving a piece twice in the opening. Okay, so black's position is all torn up, but this is a well-studied opening. Uh, this has actually been played a lot of times. So I could castle now, I could knight c3, or I could knight takes knight. Those are my main moves, I think. Considering knight takes knight would get me checkmated, that's probably what I should do, because that's my style, get checkmated fast. Um, I could move knight c3, and then when he takes my knight, he's threatening to checkmate, and when I capture back, he checkmates me. That leads me to think castling might be the best choice, considering all other choices get me checkmated immediately. That's a rule of thumb you can use. If you have two options, option one gets you checkmated immediately, try option two. That's advice of the day.
Wow, up and comer is king of the three minute pool. Uh, and Olith links everybody to my YouTube channel in the chat. Oh, thank you, Olith. I see that you've done that. And I have almost a thousand views. That's fantastic, except it's a tiny number. So if you haven't been there, click on that link and give me more views and subscribers. I beg you. Actually, I should just make a million accounts and subscribe to myself over and over and over. Then I would be as awesome as all those other people with more subscribers. It works, guys. It actually works. In fact, the views, you can just hit refresh and it loads again and you, you count the same view again. If the one person views it a thousand times, that's just as good as a thousand people viewing it once. So don't waste your time trying to get subscribers. Just tape a little poundy mechanical thing that goes like this. Pound, 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 onto your keyboard next to the F5 key, which is refresh. Or if it's a Macintosh, you could go Command R, because Macs are weird. And then you'll just get plenty of views. It works great. I tried it. Actually, I, I'm not going to say if I tried it or not. B3, Bishop B2. It's hard to get this Bishop out. D3, he takes me, takes me, takes me, takes me. Hmm. Hmm. Queen e2. Uh, I gotta get this bishop out. I've gotta get it out here. But I seem to be ahead of pawn because this opening makes you ahead of pawn. So I think maybe b3, bishop b2. Then I could play the amazing knight a4 with discovered attack on the queen and hitting that bishop. Ooh, it's only. Oh, and he's gonna take me on d2 after I finish that entire maneuver. That's disappointing. Huh. Huh. Tough. It's tough to untangle. I mean, I had a pawn, but it's hard to get my queen side developed. D3 loses a pawn. Excuse me. B3 is okay, but by the time I got bishop B2, I'll lose this pawn. If I play B3, my knight spin, or he'll take my rook. <clears throat> Maybe A3, threatening B4, which forks him. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. I'm loving it. Nothing like A3. Subtle threat. He'll never see it coming. I love a3. Moving your rook pawn one square, so subtle. It's it's kind of like just passing your turn. It's like, oh, I'm not doing anything. Your turn. I just why don't you move and then I'll then go, you know, make a cup of tea. Don't worry about me. Twitch does track unique visitors internally. Oh, that's true about the bam 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 sequence. Hey, what about pawn takes pawn? You can't do much but trade, and then when your queen moves, I can move my queen. Oh, discovered attack on my bishop. Better save my bishop. Good thing I looked that far ahead. I guess here seems reasonable. Hmm. 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 Twitch does track, but I wasn't talking about Twitch views. Of Twitch, who needs Twitch views? I was talking about YouTube views because YouTube's where it's at. Did you know? Twitch.tv has a. Uh, a partnership program and we become partner you can show ads to your viewers and be like woo here's some grapes buy grapes it's actually annoying for the viewers but it's great for you because you get paid a tiny amount of money like less than one penny for every person you annoy if you can become partner so obviously that's my goal and to be partner you need 500 they say about 500 viewers constantly now that's a lot compare it to what they require for YouTube if you want to be a twitch partner you got a YouTube channel how many viewers is it gonna take it's not 500 it is make a guess oh it's probably like way more because it's YouTube subscribers which is different than active people who are actually tuning into you right now because they just click subscribe and then they went and lived their life somewhere else they're ignoring you completely so how many YouTube subscribers does it take to make Twitch partner? Hint, it takes 500 Twitch viewers who are watching live. <clears throat> the answer is not 1,000. The answer is 100,000 subscribers. It's a lot of subscribers. And the reason is probably because you can just get subscribers by making new Gmail accounts and hitting F5. Do you know how many Gmail accounts I have? Well, I'm not telling, but I can't count them on this many fingers. So there's a lot of them. Hmm. Now is it safe to take that pawn? Looks totally safe to me. Totally, totally safe. Because that bishop... Oh, I'm out of time. I better just do it. Ah, I selected my whole page. Hey, Thibaut, you should probably disable this selectability because I don't really need to select that part of the page very much. So let's see how he's going to kill me now. Oh, he didn't kill me. Ha! Huh. I'm not killed, and now I have an extra pawn just like I always have. Fantastic. Hey, Chesswiz, says Kloma Sashur. Hey, I have to say hey to that. 
Hey, bud. Hey, man. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Oh, 24 seconds. How do I do this to myself? I have to move it instantly always. It's an opposite color bishop's ending, which means he can attack me fiercely. Basically is what that means. The more opposite bishops there are, the more the attacker can attack. It's dangerous. Dangerous me. I think, whoa, moving into discover check. Discover double check coming right up. I'll pre-move here. It looks safe. <coughs> oh! Okay, my opponent deserved that win because that's a cool, cool looking checkmate. Rook captures a pawn that's guarded while checkmating with a bishop. Have you seen that today? So far, you've not seen that. But that just happened. Uh, my bishop stopped. The bishop stops moving back. The rook stops moving over. This rook stops everything else. It's like a beautiful, like an airplane. Unfortunately, it happened to me instead of like doing it to the other guy. That would have been the one thing that would make it better. But at least the viewers got to see it. Hey, viewers, imagine that you're my opponent. That would feel good. That would be better. Please be a super GM, says somebody else. I'm running out of battery on my computer, and if it runs out completely, um, hide myself. Hide! Hide! If it runs out completely, then I will suddenly immediately disappear and never come back. So let me see if I can fix that. Uh, press the switch that activates power! Okay, we're back. Ooh, good thing that occurred not during a game. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Great. This has been fun. Now, the reason for the title USA versus Belgium is completely nonsensical. It's because USA is playing against Belgium. Well, that kind of makes sense. Today, in the World Cup, um, in about four hours, and you know who's going to win? Yep, Belgium. Too bad, because I live in the United States. But at least... Wow, that was a great move I pre-moved. Um, but at least, even though Belgium will win... At least the United States made it to the round of 16. That's impressive enough. By losing to Germany, was that awesome? Losing makes you advance? They were all so happy, and I was like, why are you happy you lost? I didn't know that you could advance by losing. But apparently you can. This is an interesting French defense with the bishop on the outside. Too bad. But the knight is blocking the c-pawn. That's kind of bad for black. Usually black wants to play c5. With the knight in the way, it's not happening. Ola says, I have never seen that kind of checkmate, rook taking a guarded pawn while a bishop checkmates. However, I have seen king d3 checkmate. Yes, we're going to show that because this is my TV show. I can show whatever I want. So after this game, I'm going to show that. Um, and it says it's Clo Masher, not Sasher. Oh, I'm sorry, Clo Sasher. Did I say Clo Sasher? Obviously, I meant Clo Masher. Clo, Clama, Clama. Oh, Clama Hasser, sir. Cloma saw her. Okay, it's changing every time I look at it. Your name is now Cloma saw her. Uh, maybe you should just change to something easy like Chess Wiz, which is so hard because everyone spells it W I Z at the end, like I'm a wizard. But I'm not a wizard. I'm a whiz, which is like what happens if you really have to go to the bathroom, you start whizzing. That's what I am, not a wizard. So spell it right or go home. Oh, I'm in check. I was going to play B4. No problem, no problem, I'll just get out of check. No problem. I actually chose the screen name long ago. Like most of you guys have weird names like Cloma Hasher or actually Developer Rich is a little bit newer because obviously his name is Rich and he's the developer. So he thought, hey, I can save keystrokes by removing an R and concatenating it. That's a programming term. Concatenating that string is what he's saying. Hey guys, I can concatenate. That'll save you all guys time from pressing R twice, which is slowing you down. So I'm Developer Rich. But anyway, most of you guys who chose who chose the, your screen names, chose them when you were 12 years old or younger, and so some of them are kind of juvenile, which would make sense since you were juvenile at the time. The word actually just means younger. So I'm not taking that rook. Nice try. Wait, maybe I should. Yeah, I should probably take that. Nice try, huh? Okay, so if I don't take it, he takes my pawn. It becomes amazing. But if I take it, it fixes his pawns, and his pawn becomes amazing. I'd rather his pawn become amazing than him, so... I'll do that. Now I have the only open file, so that's worth something. There is a hypothesis in chat that the guy is not a developer. He actually has a developer's itch. Like he's developed an itch, but he spelled itch wrong. That's possible too, because if this came from a 12 year old, it could be that he thinks it's I C H spells itch. That makes sense to me. Except it's wrong, spelling so annoying, and guys, you do not spell. 
Wait, what's that word everybody spells wrong? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll harp on the other one. Lose is L-O-S-E, not L-O-O-S-E, which spells loose, like release, like get rid of. Don't spell it loose, or I'm going to pronounce it loose in my head, and your sentence won't make any sense. Uh, and it needs to because it's a sentence, sentence, so it needs to make sense. And the other word that's always spelled wrong is... It needs to be spelled I-B-L-E, and it's always spelled A A. A-L on the end or something horrible. Guys, it's so bad. How do I not remember it? I'm losing my memory because I'm in my late portion of my life. Um, not the latest portion, but the latest portion I've ever been in. <laughs> no! I'm not going to lose this game. I'm not going to lose it. Don't even type that. Don't even, unless you want to see me defenestrate my computer. It's funny when you say you're a looser. Yeah, you know what? When I put on my shoes, I tie my shoes. And when I take them off, I'm a looser because I loosen those shoelaces. What a looser. Your play is very loose. Everyone is annoying me on chat. Guys, stop. Stop right now. I'm going to just shut down the stream if you keep that up. I'm going to turn it off, and then I'm going to sit in my room with the lights with the lights on because there's no lights because the window is open. Oh, this is, uh, this is interesting. I don't want to allow him in here. This might be tough. Should I just go over here and B3? I better do that. No, nope, he'll win if I do that. This is a tough... Oh, the perfect move has been kivitzed in chat. Thank you so much, guys. B5 is the only... Thank you, Motocross Racer, which is hard to mispronounce. B5 is the only move here to save the position. If I don't play B5, he can use the B5 square with his king very right away he plays king c6 then he can get his king to b5 then i can't hold my b4 pawn very well and then he makes a new queen but with b5 the position becomes awesome i can just go take this pawn and then i've got two b pawns that's double the b pawns that most players have of course it's completely useless but at least i've got them I'm not taking you I'm not taking you okay how are we doing here i need to get my king over to where it's getting real so I'll BRB to the king side. Oh yeah, I deserve to lose this game because I did not see B5. I was actually thinking, what happens if I don't play B5? Oh, this is tough. I need my king to stay right here. Don't move king, because if it moves, king E4, and he wins my pawn, and then he wins my other pawn, and then he promotes these pawns. So I need to leave my king here. However, I can't pass in a game of chess. I could just push once and then push again and then I'm out of pushes. So I guess here. Oh no, after F3, King F3, I'm, I'm hosed again. And if H3, same problem, he just walks in here and takes these things. I need to keep everything the way it is. I can't move this pawn or he comes in here. I can't move this pawn or he comes in here. I can't move any pawns. Okay. Okay, I can't move any pawns. Uh, this is... Oh, you kibitzers, you kibitzers are annoying me now. So I shouldn't have gone over to a4 and taken that pawn, because it wasn't even a useful pawn. It couldn't advance. I wasted my time. And during that time, his king became awesome. It just went up five squares in a row. So now I'm going to lose. If I had just used my king appropriately, which is to fight on the king side, then our kings would face each other like two kings should, and he wouldn't get past me, and it would be a draw, because this pawn over here, no harm done. Whenever it pushes, I take him. However, because I went off on my fool's errand and took that thing, now I'm sitting on d3, and I can't move. This position is called Tsukzfong. Tsukzfong is what it's called, and I'm going to help you pronounce it. Zugzwang. You see that right there? <clears throat> that does not say Zugzwang. It says Zugzwang. It's German, and it means I wish that it were his turn. Seriously. It's actually the name for a position like this when it's my turn, and I don't want it to be my turn. So I make a little move, and it's his turn. Now I loose. Get out. Get out. Disconnect. Okay, so now I make a little move, and then it's his turn again. And now I'm out of little moves, and I'm in totally in Tsukzfong, because wherever I move, he wins. Um, if I move down, he moves king here, and if I move any of these pawns, he walks in this way. If I could pass, if chess allowed passing, then I would not lose. I would pass right now, and his king can't come in anywhere. He would move, I'd pass, he'd move, I'd pass, he'd move, I'd pass, he'd move, I'd pass, and then he would pass, and it would be a drop. But there's no passing, and when I move, I die. Too bad. Too bad, so sad. Very disappointing. Let's see what I can do. 25 seconds. I can die, huh? 
Oh, 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 did you make a mistake, developer Rich? Did you make a mistake? I have to go this way, it's quicker. Come on, Pawn. 21 seconds now. I spent all my time explaining how bad my position was. Owned! Developer Rich got owned! That's too bad! Oh, so sad! Poor Developer Rich. I don't think I deserve to win that. I don't think I deserved. I deserved to get second place, if you know what I mean. But this turned out really grand for chess and viewers. Really grand indeed. Now let's make sure we stay away from Stalymate. Resigns! Oh, he made it easy. Developer Rich goes down! Wow! Thank you, Developer Rich, and thank you, Secret Oz, for saying he has to balance entertainment and skills. I tried it the other day, not so easy. Oh, thank you for saying that, actually. Um, I'm not doing that, though. I'm just balancing entertainment and lack of skills, which is better than nothing, but still pretty bad. Okay, so now we're going to watch King D3 Checkmate, because I say so. Who's on ChessWiz TV? ChessWiz. ChessWiz says we watch this. Ready? We've gone to ChessWiz's episode himself. Oh, it's so recursive in here, guys. This is going to get weird. Um, but where is... Whoa, 51 people watching. Hi, everybody. That's like close to the record for a weekday, because it's Tuesday. We've hit that kind of number on the weekend, because no one has anything to do on the weekend. But on the weekday, that's really amazing. So thanks for everybody for tuning in. Okay, it's time to watch King D3 Checkmate. Right off of ChessWiz's own channel. And if you want to see other moments of funny ChessWiz TV, you should go to twitch.tv slash ChessWiz. Good luck spelling it. And there's actually some highlights over here in the highlighty area where you can watch things like this. Are you ready? I'm going to download this video and upload this video yeah, at I'm the sure same time. after this, and it's not going to be long. Yeah. Not going to be Oh, long. hi, ChessWiz. Oh, this is so bad for him. <laughs> for him. I'm laughing yeah. at myself, laughing at myself. Check. Watch this. King d3 checkmate. Now it's not every day that you get to move your king with checkmate, so I think we should watch that in slow motion. Ready? Check. Check. Checkmate. Oh yeah. Chess was watching, chess was watching, chess was. I would tune in for that. King D3 checkmate. I think that's the first time I've ever played King G3 checkmate. King D3? Pronounce the thing, checkmate. man. King D3 checkmate wow, in you're my young. entire life. I have played a lot of chess, and I have never played King D3 checkmate, nope. and you witnessed that for the first time. Actually, for the second time, if you know what I mean, I just watched Chess Wiz watching Chess Wiz. That is epic. I am so glad I'm tuned into Chess Wiz TV. We're going to wrap up the episode with one more one-minute game, and then that is all for the day. So that was awesome. I'm glad you guys tuned in. Let's fix the width here. That's more like it. Uh, we're going to dive into the one-minute pool for one more game of chess. Leave the... 10, 5, other, other pool, because how can you be in two pools at the same time? That would require quite a stretching of the limbs. One game of one minute chess, and then we are out of here. Thank you all for tuning in. If you want more ChessWiz on ChessWiz TV, you can visit the ChessWiz TV YouTube channel where all previous episodes are, including the one where Checkmate, where I checkmated him with King D3 Checkmate, which was a lot of fun. What? Enter pool, man. I just missed that thing. I don't know if I have time for this now. It's almost the top of the hour. I missed the round because I didn't click <coughs> pool. You can also... Did I just clear my throat? That was really rude. Let's adjust the microphone. That'll distract him. You can also heart me on Twitch, which is useless because you need to be 500 people watching at the same time. That would be a lot better. So if you've got 500 computers, if like you live on a campus where there's a computer room with 500 computers, why don't you just remote into the kernels and make it so that when you boot up, it connects to Chess with TV at the same time and do that all behind the scenes so that it's 500 viewers. That would be great. Why don't you just hack in there and do that? I would be so glad I'm not going to do it because I don't really like living in jail. But if you enjoy that, I enjoy you doing it. Uh, if you don't, then I don't. So don't hurt yourself, but 500 viewers would be great. Great. That'd be great, man. Okay, so one more game of chess, and that is all. He doesn't have multiple quality options. Oh, is there a problem with the bandwidth, guys? Let's see. Um, I don't think there's... A, if there's a problem with the, ba with the uh, bandwidth, let me know, because I can tune down the bandwidth so you guys can uh, not be what's the word buffering all the time we could do that one more game of chess and we're done let's play some chess 
I don't get multiple bandwidth options for the same reason I'm not awesome, which is I'm not a Twitch partner. But if you all are 500 people and you tune in, then I can get multiple bandwidth options. Like TLO, which stands for the little one. That shows you can be awesome with a lame name. Um, TLO is a little name. The little one is a little name. Do you know how he got? It's a dumb name. That name? The little one is a StarCraft player. He's from Germany. Why do I know so much about StarCraft? I have no idea. Anyway, the way he got that name is his older brother picked his name first because his older brothers do that, you know? Oh, I lost my knight. This is not a good finish. Oh, well. Oh, well. I don't need my knight. I don't need that. Just don't checkmate me. Nice try. Just don't checkmate me down there. We'll be fine. Uh, King Over. Don't, don't. He could have taken that pawn for free because I was all pinned. Um, he, his older brother named himself the big one, which is actually, it actually makes sense because the big one sounds like something's about to happen. And then the younger brother was like, oh no, the big one's taken. I guess I'll be the little one. He did not realize he would become a world famous StarCraft II player when he chose that name. So then he became world famous and everyone's like, the little one, what does that mean? And he has to say, well, well, you know, and he has to explain all this. Embarrassing for the poor guy. So you have to be careful when you choose your name, even if you're 12 years old. Guys who are 12 years old, Old, uh, be careful when you choose your names because you might lose your queen to a discovered attack, pawn move, bishop skewer, and check all at once. So be careful. Ooh, ooh. Our opponent, our opponent, is just about out of time here. Ooh. Four seconds. Ooh. Don't you now checkmate me, you hear me? Oh. Maybe that'll do it. No, no. Three seconds. How do I escape? How do I escape? Ah! Died. Died. That was too bad. He almost ran out of time, which was the whole point. The whole point in Chess with TV is to run him out of time. Well, almost. I guess throwing women out on G5 wasn't the best move after all. Thank you for tuning in. Next episode will be episode 34, if you can believe it. We're actually doing one at a time. So I'll see you next time. And do I have any other message for you? Um... Um, exercise. The secret to happiness is exercise. I hope that helps.